This is a regular exercise bike. Most people, if they have one of these, tend to just jump on it, do their exercise, and that's it. While others will take the data from the onboard computer and input it manually into their favorite exercise monitoring app. But what if there was an easy budget way of turning this average exercise bike into a smart bike? Well, you're in luck because there is, and I'm gonna show you just how to do it with some simple and affordable tools and accessories. You might be wondering, why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you've already got an exercise bike that works fine, but you want to spice up your workouts with some interactive classes, challenges, or games. Or maybe you just want to track your progress and see how you compare to others on that fitness journey. Or maybe you just want to save some money and not buy a new smart bike that can cost you thousands of dollars. Well, whatever your reasons, you can achieve this with some simple tools and accessories that won't break the bank. And here's what you'll need. Firstly, you're gonna need a phone. And then you're gonna need a speed sensor which you can attach to the wheel of your exercise bike and that will measure how fast you're pedaling. And you also need a cadence sensor that will attach to the arm of your pedal and that will measure how often you're pedaling. I got these Wahoo speed and cadence sensors which using the installation accessories inside the box, I've attached them to the bike and successfully paired them to my phone. A phone or tablet holder that will mount on your handlebars or somewhere else on your bike and hold your device securely. Some exercise bikes have inbuilt holders for your device. This will allow you to see your life stats and access various apps that will enhance your cycling experience. Now while those previous accessories were essential, these next are optional and they include a heart rate monitor which you can strap around your chest and that will measure your heart rate and send that data to your phone or tablet. The heart rate monitor I'm using is this Polar H7 Bluetooth heart rate monitor. And depending on which exercise tracking app you do decide to use, you'll need to check the compatibility of the accessories that you have because some of the more popular ones like the Wahoo Fitness app isn't compatible with Polar devices. Now that you have all of those materials, let's get started with that conversion process. And I promise you, it's easy. Step one, attach the speed sensor to your wheel hub using the provided installation accessories. Make sure it is aligned with one of the spokes on the wheel and calibrate as necessary. With the Wahoo one that I've got here, the sensor isn't quite in the position as recommended instructions, but while we're making sure that the connected app knows the circumference of the exercise bike wheel, it is able to make those necessary adjustments. And you can see that the speed on the app compared to the bike's onboard computer is pretty much there or thereabouts. Step two, attach the cadence sense to your crank arm using the included installation accessories. Make sure it is aligned with one of the pedals. Three, strap on your heart rate monitor if you've chosen that accessory, put it around your chest and adjust it so that it's comfortable and secure. Mount the phone or tablet holder on your handlebars using the provided clamp or strap. Make sure it's tight and stable because you don't want it coming off while you're in your cycling element. Connect all of the sensors to your phone or tablet and select the app that you want to do the track in. I found an app called Trainer Day that allows you to incorporate all of the sensors that I've got so the two Wahoo sensors and the Polar heart rate monitor, and also the heart rate tracking of your Apple Watch if you've got one. Finally, if you want some music as you train, connect your headphones, let the tunes flow, and start your workout. Well, there you go. You've successfully converted your exercise bike into a smart bike that can give you feedback on your speed, cadence, heart rate, distance, calories burned, and transfer them all automatically to your fitness tracking or health monitoring app. And it gives you the chance to enjoy various interactive features from different apps, such as live classes, virtual routes, challenges, and games. I'll leave links to all of the accessories and gadgets I've used in this modification in the description below. While you can exercise without technology, there's no doubt that with the help in hand that technology gives you and its ability to gather, record, and interpret data, and then convert that data into information that you can use to make the best improvements to your exercise, and your fitness overall, not only quickly and often before you've had the chance to recover from that 60 minute session, but also automatically without you having to spend the time doing those conversions or consulting your notebook. So why not take advantage of these inexpensive methods of bettering the equipment that you've got in a smart way with these modifications? Thanks for watching. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've got any questions about this now smart exercise bike, then just pop them in the comments below. I'm going to get another session in on the bike, so I'll see you in the next one.